Mandy and I welcome you back to Jesus Calling for February 14th. Give yourself fully to the adventure of today. Oh, I love this. Let's look at Hebrews 12 verse 2 and Isaiah 41 13. Hebrews 12 verse 2 says, Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who, for the joy set before him, endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Isaiah 41 13 says, For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand, and who says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Give yourself fully to the adventure of today. Walk boldly along the path of life, relying on your ever-present companion. You have every reason to be confident, because my presence accompanies you all the days of your life, and onward into eternity. Do not give in to fear or worry, those robbers of abundant living. Trust me enough to face problems as they come, rather than trying to anticipate them. Fix your eyes on me, the author and perfecter of your faith, and many difficulties on the road ahead will vanish before you reach them. Whenever you start to feel afraid, remember that I am holding you by your right hand. Nothing can separate you from my presence. I love this one line, don't you? Don't give in to fear or worry, those robbers of abundant living. And we all can be fearful, can't we, sometimes? And we all sometimes worry, too. But I love it. My grandma always said, worry is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but you don't get anywhere. So why worry? Why just sit there and rock back and forth and just spend all that time and maybe even, you know, just money and energy worrying about stuff when you can just relax and trust God because he's got you right here. And remember, his timing is not the same as our timing. And that is a hard lesson to learn. But once you realize that, you can just kind of almost sit back and relax and just wait because I pray about things. If they don't answer right away, I'm like, well, the answers are either what? Yes, no, or wait, right? So a lot of times it's wait, and then I'm just patient. And I can be patient, and I can be calm because I know he's holding me right here. And for whatever reason, and he has a good reason, I'm supposed to wait and just be patient. And so I do. So I hope today that you do that. Remember, worrying is like a rocking chair. It's not going to get you anywhere. So just throw up all your worries to God and let him worry about them. And you just focus on him and living your life and serving other people because that's a great way to live. So have a good day throwing your worries up to God. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.